Hi Hillary. Today we're going to have a quick quilting lesson and we're going to do paper piecing. And the book we'll be using is Vintage Quilts and it also comes with a DVD in the back and on the DVD is the pattern that we'll be using today. And as you can see, it's two rows of colored stars with uneven white sides. The quilter here chose to use just scrap fabric. Well, I don't have any scrap fabric, so I had to buy all new fabrics. And they use two different kinds of backgrounds. And because you have to worry about all these little rows of backgrounds, I said that's too hard for my first paper piecing quilt, so I chose to ignore that as well. So the first direction is to cut up your fabrics and you're going to have sets of cool fabrics and sets of warm fabrics. And so for cools, I selected blues and some greens. This orange and yellow combination and this peach and red combination. My background fabric is a marbled soft white with a darker beige color marbled into it. And each of these stars is made up of an outside star and an inside star. And I chose to make all my inside stars the same fabric and vary the outside stars with a light side and a dark side. So that's why you see the two different uh, blues, the two different greens and so on. So for the inside star, I chose this fabric, and now you're gonna see what we did with the paper. The book came with a template for this, and it actually comes on two pages. You get the big template and the small template. Our teacher put them both on the same paper so that we didn't waste as much paper. She also gave us the key. B2 will be the background, B1 will be the light side of the star, a1 is the dark side of the star, A2 is more background, A3 is the front star, A4 is more background or the white fabric. It's also handy to note which side you attach the B piece to. So this is the B side. The first thing I did after labeling backgrounds and light stars was to give myself a starting spot. So I measured a quarter inch from this sewing line here over to here. This will give me a starting point. I bought a package of 50 sheets and this is papers for foundation piecing. And what is nice about this is this is my copy paper. It's really thick and heavy like nice good Xerox paper is. And this is thin and it tears easily. So when you're all done and you have to rip off all the papers off the backs, it will rip nicely. This is one of the copies that we had, and we don't need all this extra paper, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out our two patterns. And we'll start with this light star. As you can see, it says light and background. And that's this, this is the side I'm going to look at when I'm sewing, so I need to work on the back side. You can kind of see through the paper um, because I, I drew fairly dark lines. And I'm going to lay this down here. And now it says light side right here. And that line I drew is one quarter inch above. And so it gives me a nice starting point to line up this paper, just like this. So now it's even with that line. And my background is going to go right sides together, right on top of that. So right sides together. And I'm going to flip it over. We're going to come over to the sewing machine. And now we're going to sew right on this, this line, this center line. There's the back side and the right side. So let's go over to the ironing board, 
set your seam. Press it open. And now you have two strips sewn together. Let's go to the cutting board. Now we'll trim this triangle along the solid line. This has little triangle points. This helps line them up at the end. When you're sewing the big pieces together, so I'm gonna trim these little points. Now this piece, we're going to sew four pieces just that same way. We're going to sew all four pieces together. We're going to start with dark star and background, starting with one, two, three, four. We're going to turn it over, and I can see the line for where to place it. So I'm going to lay that down right here. Some people will use a dot of glue. You can use some tacky glue, and you can put it right here. and tack it into place, you can use a pin. I have found that I don't like the tacky glue because it sticks really well and then you have to wash it before you can do anything. And since I'm too lazy, I don't want to wash it. So I don't use the glue. So we're lining up that first piece. We're gonna line this up with right sides together. And if you have a pattern that's really faint like this, you can lay it right there on your leg, and you can see the pattern is really good on this side and white on that side, so I know that this is the, the wrong side. So I'm gonna place it right sides together. Flip it over. You can see I've got my quarter inch foot on there, and I, where I can follow my tracing line, or I can just sew on the center line right and you just stop at that folding line. Now we'll press this open. Okay, now I have this piece of fabric and it's a lot of fabric for those two little triangles. I'm gonna flip it so I'm working on the side I can see. I have this piece of cardboard. It's just a bookmark but it's a useful thing, this piece of thin cardboard, because it gives me this nice edge to fold that paper to. And then I also bought this add a quarter ruler. This is a six inch, they come in six and 12. And on this side, there's a ridge. It lays up nicely against this cardboard. I just shove that against there so that I have exactly a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to roll that. Now I have a seam to match up my next piece of fabric with. My next piece is A3 front star. I'm going to grab a front star color. I found that it goes this way quite nicely. And I'm going to turn it over and sew on that sewing line that we just added a quarter to. The first eight that I did, I used the glue. I like the glue a lot. It keeps everything really nicely in place, uh, just for that first piece. But once you get the hang of it, it's good. But if I was working with smaller pieces, I would definitely use the glue because they do tend to wiggle around a lot. Now we're gonna go do the same thing. We're going to iron, iron it open, fold it, and cut it one more time. So we'll set the seam, fold it open. Now we're ready to go fold. 
here I'm going to do the A4 line. I'm going to fold right here at this white line. So lay my little bookmark right on that line. I'm going to fold it over. This my outer quarter. Some people like to use the smaller rotor color, but this one slips, and so I feel like I'm in danger. So I don't use it. We have one last piece to sew on, and the book gave us the dimensions. I'm gonna sew on this white triangle, and I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put my right sides together. Flip it back over over here and sew. And we've got our four pieces together. Now we just need to iron it and trim it. Come back over here, set up the seam. When I'm ironing it, I don't use any water or steam in that because we don't want to degrade the paper in any way. cutting board is sitting on a ridge, so right where that ridge is, sometimes it doesn't cut so nicely. And these uh, spots are grippy spots, and so when you use the ruler with the right side down, it grips and holds in place better. just has the one edge with a little corner on it and so we're just going to trim the one little edge. Now what we need to do is to sew our piece B to the piece A and I marked where I was going to sew it on the pattern right there. I'm going to put right sides together and them up just with the edge right where we cut it and so it's very useful that we took the extra time to make and now we're going to sew it And now we do this four times. Now we're gonna go do the same thing. We're gonna iron so that paper's getting kind of heavy in there, but you don't want to cut it off. You don't want to rip the paper off. And the reason is, is because we've cut these in really weird angles and the paper is stabilizing those bias cuts so that the fabric won't stretch while we are sewing things together. Okay, so now we've got these four hats. Let's go make them into a star. We need to put a dark and a light together, so I'm going to sew it together like that. And I really want my corners to match, so I will use a pin and I will poke through the intersection there 
and the intersection here to make sure that I've got a good alignment of, of my corners. Okay, that's good. The paper really helps. If you follow the paper really well, it should match up pretty well. Now we're going to iron these open, but you can see you've got bits of star forming. Now we're going to join these together. Like this. I care more about the color points matching nicely than I do the white points matching nicely. So I'll focus on those, the same, the same method, poking right through there. Yeah, looks really good. our star. You can see the stars with the different colors. There's the one with the red and the peach. There's another blue one. This is the orange and the yellow, which I think looks really pretty with that. And this is the green one. And then we'll sew them together per the directions, but I'm sure it will be alternating cools and warm colors, but it will look really pretty when it's all sewn together. And that's paper piecing. Hope you like it. Try it. So I'll send you the, the pattern and the sizes to cut the, the rectangles that we started with. And you can try it. You can make a Christmas one. You can just make four and make a little wall hanging. It would be really pretty. All right. Bye, Hillary. Love ya. Mm -hmm.